Hey guys, here's a list of the top 10 Netflix shows rated by Thrillist. 1. BoJack Horseman It sounds strange. A cartoon about a talking horse is one of the funniest and most accurate representations of depression on TV today. But it's true. As you join the title character, voiced by Will Arnett, you'll encounter killer visual gags, whip-smart dialogue, complex-as-hell characters, and genuine feels. The kind that'll make you evaluate your own life. 2. Mindhunter David Fincher loves serial killers. The director of Seven, Zodiac, and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo launched Netflix into the world of original television when he applied his dark, brooding aesthetic to a different kind of sociopath. Mindhunter arrives fully mature, concerned more with exploring the depths of headlines already written than creating new ones. Over two seasons, Mindhunter has balanced tense jailhouse interview scenes with conventions of cop thrillers in a nuanced, tautly directed depiction of life at humanity's extreme fringes. It's the rare show that's both bingeable and deliberate, smart yet entertaining. 3. Ozark It's easy to see why early critics compared Ozark to Breaking Bad. Drug money and morally gray characters abound in both. But as Marty Bird, a brilliant Chicago-based financial advisor who moves his family to Missouri on a life-or-death deadline to wash truckloads of cash for Mexico's second biggest drug cartel, Jason Bateman never goes full Heisenberg. Season 2 and Season 3 put wife Wendy Bird front and center, and solid supporting players Julia Garner also help the show work its slow burn magic. 4. The OA Season 1 of The OA was a wild ride, alternating between hokiness and brilliance in nearly equal measure. But it was clearly trying something, and that was what made it so bingeable. Season 2, however, is a revelation and puts the OA in rare company of crazy TV shows that somehow make sense on an emotional level. Yes, there's interpretive dance, too. Most of this shouldn't work, and some of it doesn't, but Marling and Batmanglage attack this wonky material with so much passion and sincerity that it's hard not to get swept up in their brain-scrambling vision. Despite the rabid fanbase, Netflix ditched the show after Season 2. 5. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt A cast away from NBC's primetime lineup, creators Tina Fey and Robert Carlock's 30 Rock follow-up found life in the early days of Netflix's original programming and became a gut-busting beacon of hope for the platform. If 30 Rock was the sitcom tradition done to perfection, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt is the Elon Musk approach to comedy hijinks. The idea of throwing together a childlike kidnapping survivor, a gay black man with the voice of angels, a conspiracy theorizing old lady, and an upper crust divorcee is an even bigger risk when there's room left to explore the tragic side of the situation. 6. Stranger Things There's no denying that Stranger Things has been a phenomenon, but has it been a good phenomenon? That's a controversial question in some quarters, and it only became more difficult to answer it when the show returned for its eagerly anticipated, somewhat controversial second season, delivering more of the 80s pastiche that propelled the first season to success. That's enough to make it a nostalgia-rich pop culture sensation, and a third season that recaptured some of the nostalgic fun of the original run means Stranger Things easily makes the top 10 of this list. 7. Master of None Master of None is a comedy that examines the anxiety of unlimited choice. That slow drip of dread that starts every time you fire up your Apple TV or look up restaurant recommendations on your phone. Sounds bleak, right? Thankfully, the series, which was co-created by stand-up Aziz Ansari and former Parks and Recreation writer Alan Yang, is able to find laughs in the often mundane problems of well-off city dwellers. 8. When They See Us Given the wide scope of the material, juggling multiple families scrambling to protect the ones they love, and a vast grinding legal apparatus attempting to pin a crime on innocent victims, the most impressive aspect of When They See Us, director Ava DuVernay's powerful docudrama about the Central Park Five, is the way it zeroes in on small moments of human anguish, bravery, and cruelty. Focusing on the aftermath of a rape and assault of a female jogger in the park, the miniseries combines the TikTok storytelling of a true crime police procedural with a more curious, empathetic eye. 9. American Vandal the comedy's first season, in which teen documentarians investigate whether a classmate accused of spray-painting penises on teachers' vehicles is guilty or not, was much more than a dick joke. After the first couple episodes, the phallic material fades into the background, allowing the show to satirize high school and today's criminal justice system in a meaningful way. To pull it off, the co-creators studied the alluring techniques used in true crime titans serial, Making a Murderer, and The Jinx, and in doing so crafted a surprisingly nuanced show that's a parody, homage, and addictive teen drama all wrapped in one. 10. Dead to Me In Liz Feldman's Dead to Me, Christina Applegate's Jen is grieving the recent death of her husband, who was killed in a hit-and-run, with cynicism, reluctantly attending group therapy. That's where she meets Linda Cardellini's Judy, who's also grieving, and the two form an instant bond. 
but by the end of the first episode, it's clear that both of these women, whose chemistry is the kind of snarky friendship you crave in your own life, are hiding something. The 30-minute dark comedy moves effortlessly between registers, from lighthearted to deadly serious, with plot-turning twists thrown into every episode for good measure. Thanks for watching. Thank you.